Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success, streaming now on Amazon Music. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than 10 years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources like my guitar courses, lesson of the month club, coaching, Thursday tips blog, and more, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's listening and feeling like you're missing out on all the guitar playing fun, you can easily get started with my super simple Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course. Now, on to today's tip. This podcast is brought to you in part by Gator. Whether you just picked up your first guitar or you've been playing your whole life, Gator has everything you need. Gator is a one-stop shop for bags, cases, stands, hangers, guitar straps, power supplies, pedal boards, and more. There are hundreds of options created by a guitarist just for you. Check out GatorCO.com for all your guitar needs. Today's tip is 10 Gift Ideas for guitar players. Have you recently been asked about your gift preferences? It's a frequent conversation this time of year. Perhaps it's been something like, what do you want for Christmas? In fact, it's a question my daughters recently posed to me, and it got me thinking that it might be helpful for us guitarists to have a list of useful guitar player gift ideas. In this episode, I'll talk about 10 guitar player gift ideas for you to share with your family and friends. As always, I love to give a shout out to my listeners around the world. So this week, hello and thank you to those of you listening in Panama, Hungary, Singapore, Chile, and Zambia. Before I go over the list, I wanted to announce the lucky winner of the November Gator Giveaway. And the winner is... Strumroll... Roberto Santana. Congratulations, Roberto, and I hope you enjoy your Icon Series gig bag and Levy's strap. This month, we have a fun giveaway plan that you won't want to miss. So stay tuned, both your guitar and to this podcast show. The giveaway details will be announced during next week's episode. Alrighty, so here are the 10 things I think most of us guitarists want, need, or could really use. Number one, a set of strings. As I've mentioned in previous episodes and in my clinics and workshops, Strings are like the spare tire for your car. You wouldn't drive without a spare tire, so don't play guitar without a set of strings in your case. And be sure to let your loved ones know the brand and size of strings that you like. Number two, a key winder. If you don't have one of these handy dandy little gadgets, you'll want to put this at the top of your list. It sure can make your string changing life easier, smoother, and quicker. Number three, a tuner. This goes without saying, you need to have a tuner and it doesn't hurt to have a backup tuner. Again, let your loved ones know the type of tuner and brand that you like. Number four, batteries. It's a good idea to have extra batteries on hand for your tuner and pickup system if you have one in your guitar. Keep the batteries in your case. You never know when you might need to change them. For example, it could be right when you are tuning your guitar prior to performing. So be prepared. Number five, a cleaning cloth. This is another one of those items that you can't have too many of. 
I like to have one in my case to wipe down my guitar after a playing session and a separate cloth for polishing my guitar. Hey, do you know someone who would like to play guitar? It's never been easier with my Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course. And if you or someone you know already plays guitar and wants to learn more, then my Lesson of the Month Club and my coaching sessions could be just the right thing. The links are in the show notes on your podcast app, or you can find them on my website, marlenesmusic.com. Number six. Guitar polish. In number five, I just mentioned polishing your guitar. There are cleaning cloths with the polish on them, and there are also polishes made specifically for guitars. Number seven, good old gift cards. Boy, you can't go wrong with a gift card. It's a one-size-fits-all kind of gift where you can choose what you like. You might want to be specific to the store that you prefer to shop at. For example, a particular local guitar shop like a mom and pop store and or the big chains and online retailers. Number eight, a guitar stand. I recommend having your guitar out and visible. You'll simply play more. To that end, you want your guitar to be safe. So a floor stand or a wall-mounted stand are quite useful to have. Number nine, a music stand. This one is more helpful than you might think. When your music or tablet is on a stand, you'll have better neck, shoulder, and back posture. And ultimately, you'll have less soreness in those areas because your head is up rather than looking down at a table or wherever you've placed your music. Number 10. Lessons. Playing guitar is an ongoing lifetime learning opportunity. It's helpful to enlist a professional to assist you with your skill and technique building so you can move through your playing challenges and reach your playing goals more quickly. This would include either in-person lessons or online lessons. By the way, I love to help people progress on their guitar playing journey, so please check out my courses and coaching session options at marlenesmusic.com. Naturally, no guitar player gift list would be complete without mentioning the most obvious present of all, a new guitar. And since a guitar is a very personal choice, here's what I recommend you do. Go to guitar stores and test drive guitars to find the one you like, want, and need. Then, in a not-so-subtle manner, send photos and links to your loved ones to help ensure that you'll get the guitar of your dreams. So, the next time someone asks you what gift you'd like, you can simply share this list or your version of this list to help them choose the most wonderfully useful guitar player gifts for you. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar playing skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, please check out the many learning resources available at marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast, and as I like to say, play on.